Hey guys! Welcome back to my channel. So today I have an update for you for my Finished 13 by Halloween Project Pan Roulette. Before this update I had finished 7 products. I started the project out with 16 items so that I had a little bit of wiggle room in case I wasn't able to finish a product or 2 or 3 or 7. <laughs> um, so I had 7 products done. I had 9 products left. Now, at this update, I am sorry to say I have only finished one more product. It's really, really frustrating to me, but let's just jump right in. The first product that I did use up is the Neglected product, and it's the Rimmel Scandalize Eyeliner in Taupe. I actually literally just finished this up this morning. Yesterday morning, I sharpened it, and the last little bit of the product dislodged from the pencil, but I shoved it back in there and I got one more use out of it before it fell out again and fell on the floor. So that is all done. I used this as an eye base and I also used it under my lash line and I really liked it. I like the formula of these. They work really nicely. I would love to try out the black one if I ever finish up all of my black eyeliners. Who knows if that will ever happen in my lifetime, but this was a really nice eyeliner and I'm actually kind of sad to see it go. The next product in my project is Brow Product, and for that I selected the Ulta Brow Tint in Deep. So this is just a brow gel that's tinted, it's got a little tiny wand, like the Benefit Gimme Brow. Um, I'm still pulling out product. I can feel more air in the package, but there's no way for me to measure my progress. So. I don't think this is going to get finished by the end date since this is the last update before the finale, but we'll see. <laughs> the next category I drew was Shimmery Eyeshadow, and I selected this eyeshadow from Yabi Cosmetics called Seashell, and it's this one here. It's kind of a smaller pan, but the pan is deeper than average, um, so I do have some major pan showing on this. Um, <laughs> Again, like, I'm shocked at how, how much product is actually in here. Um, it's been very slow going. I do use this every day that I use makeup, um, four days a week. And I use this on my inner corner. Sometimes I use it on my brow bone um, because it is pretty subtle. But, again, another product that I don't think that I'm going to finish up, sadly. Uh, if you have suggestions on ways to use that, I was considering using it as a facial highlighter. But the pan is just so small that it would be difficult to do, but if you have any suggestions for me, please let me know. The next category is product from Sephora, and I chose this Sephora Oil Infusion Color and Care Lip Gloss Treatment thing. This is in Bubbly Grenadine. The product was laying on its side while it was waiting to be filmed. Um, but when it's sitting upright, this is where I am now. So I've had more progress than I have in the past couple of updates. But again, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to finish this off. I do use this at least once every day, so it's just still shocking to me that Jacqueline was able to finish one of these off in one month. I just, I bow down to her. I bow down to you, Jacqueline. Um, I, I don't know how you did it. Did you drink it? You can tell me. You drank it, right? Yeah. <laughs> The next category I drew was product from Ulta, and for that I chose my Becca blush in Flower Child. Um, I'm still using it every single day that I put on makeup. Um, because my blush brush is a little bit large, I guess I'm just sort of like wearing the pan down evenly because I do see wear, but it's there's no dip, which is really, really frustrating. I kind of want to put a pin through it just to see how deep the pan is because I don't think I'm going to be able to hit pan on this. The next category is product you regret buying, and I selected Benefits Benetint. This is just a little mini size that came in a kit, and I do not have any progress to share. Um, I have used this a few times, but I guess because it's the, the nature of the product, it hasn't gone down enough to make another line, so I'm not going to do that. It would just be one extra thick line. Um, another product where I'm like, I don't think I can finish this by the end date, which is just super frustrating. My next category is a mini lipstick, and for that I have this Bare Minerals Get Ready in, no, 
Bare Minerals Marvelous Moxie in Get Ready. So that's where I am with it. Um, I have made just a little bit of progress on here. Um, I've said this before, but the product is just super creamy, so it spreads easily, and if you use too much, it'll like feather outside my lip line, so that's why I'm not getting as much use out of it, but um, pretty steady progress from each update. I'm glad I'm seeing movement, but I just, I'm ready to get it gone. I don't, I'm so frustrated. The next category I drew was a lip gloss, and I chose this one from The Balm. It's the Read My Lips Lip Gloss in the shade BAM. This is a mini size that I got, I think, in an Ipsy bag. Um, there's no progress to show, like, you can't see where the product line is. However, a few days ago, and I should have taken a picture when I saw it, but a few days ago, um, I pulled this out of my bag to apply it to my lips while I was at work, and um, I could... I could distinctly see like product like down here and the rest was like see-through not completely see-through but um, I don't know what happened I usually keep it like this in a pocket in my purse so I don't I don't understand how it gets jostled around so much to get all the product accumulated on the sides but um, I do have to dip in two and three times now to get this applied to my lips uh, per application so I think this is one that I might be able to finish up by the end date. And finishing this update off on a pretty high note is, um, pro an, I'm sorry, an item from your favorite brand. And that I chose my NYX Angel Veil Primer. So I have cut this open, as I always do with products that I enjoy. Um, I don't like wasting product. I cut it open and I put the rest of the product into this little container and I just dip in my finger a couple of times for an application. Um, this will definitely be done by the finale. Um, I, I, I'm really loving this. I didn't want to let any of it go to waste even though I have approximately 5.8 million foundation primers to work through. I didn't want to waste any of this. But this will definitely be done by the finale. So um, I'm not sure if I'm going to hit my 13 item goal, which is a little bit frustrating. But, um, you know, following different people in the painting community has helped keep me um, from getting too discouraged from continuing panning. It has helped put things in perspective. Like, you got use out of stuff that you wouldn't have otherwise. Um, regardless of whether you finish it or not, any progress is good progress. So that is everything for my Finish 13 by Halloween Project Pan Roulette update. Give this video a thumbs up if you like painting projects. Subscribe if you aren't already so that we can stay in touch, and I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye!